Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you how to find the derivative of the absolute value of x. You might be thinking, wait a minute, you can't take the derivative of the absolute value of x. Well, you can. Um, the, the absolute value of x is a function, and if you graph it, it looks like a v. So the only place it's not differentiable is at zero, because you have a sharp edge here. So you could find the derivative everywhere else. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll do it algebraically. So watch this. So we'll start by giving it a name. So f of x is equal to the absolute value of x. Now you can write the absolute value of x as the square root of x squared. It's the same thing. And then you can write this as x squared to the 1 half power, right? Because the square root turns into a 1 half power. Then you can take the derivative and use the chain rule. So you put the 1 half in the front, so you get 1 half x squared. You subtract 1, right? 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half times the derivative of the inside, right? It's the chain rule. The derivative of x squared is 2x. So again, you first write the absolute value as the square root of x squared, then write it as x squared to the 1 half, then take the, take the derivative using the chain rule. So you put the 1 half in the front, don't touch the inside, boom, multiply by the derivative of the inside, you get 2x. The 2's cancel, so you get x over... Then you can bring this downstairs, x squared to the 1 half. But here's the really cool thing. So this is the derivative of the absolute value of x. It's equal to x over, and this bottom piece here, that's the absolute value of x, right? It's the same thing. So it's x over the absolute value of x. So the derivative of the absolute value of x is equal to x over the absolute value of x. Of course, in all of this, x is not equal to 0. Because if it was, then the absolute value of x would not have a derivative. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.